This lesson is on how to construct a circle graph. When we are constructing a circle graph, it's important to know what part of the whole each represents. So in this case, I've got some values that are budgeted, and I want to find out the percent of those. So percent or fraction, of course, if you're more comfortable with fractions. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to multiply that fraction or percent by 360 to find how many degrees. The first thing I need to do is to find out the total for all of my budgeted amounts. So I'm going to add these up, and that's a total of $2,000. So I have $2,000 budgeted. So to find the percent, I'm going to put 800 over 2,000, and you can turn it into a percent or to a decimal or simply reduce the 80 over 2,000, or 800 over 2,000. And that gives me 0.4 or 40%. And I'm actually just gonna turn these into decimals because I know that when I multiply, I'm gonna take my 0.4 times 360. And if I multiply 0.4 times 360, I get 144 degrees. I'll do the same thing for the rest of these. So I have found each of my decimals, or each of my parts of the whole. I've taken each of those values multiplied by 360 to find the number of degrees. Now remember, total degrees in a circle is 360, so it's a good idea when you get to the end to add all of those values up to make sure that they add up to 360. Now to construct our circle graph, we're going to take our degree measures for each of those, and I'm going to start by placing my protractor, the center of my protractor, on the center of a circle. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and draw a circle. Um, you can use a compass to do that. And then just draw any line. So I've drawn a line, obviously, to the left. You could start straight up, it doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna go 144 degrees. So from here, I'm going all the way over to 144. And then of course, I would use a straight edge to make that straight line. So that is my line at 144. And now, as you can see, I've rotated that protractor around. I would now look for the 36, which is over here. And then, of course, I would make a nice straight line over. And I would continue that process. So then I would rotate the protractor around and keep rotating it until I've created all of my spaces. Once I've done that, then all I have to do is label my sections as I did. Um, sometimes people like to use a color key like we had on those other questions where we had A, B, C, and D and they were color coded um, or you can just label it right on the circle. 